Hi everyone and welcome back to Wednesday's Toe of the Week. That's right, I'm going to continue my toes for a while, so stay tuned. It's my first fall set. Welcome back, everyone. Great to see you and great to be back in doing a Toe of the Week design. I know I said I wasn't going to. I was going to stop that for the year, but I decided to keep going for a while. One, because I'm still wearing open toe. Two, because I still have more shoe collection to share with you. And three, because I love my good friend Jennifer and she loves the toe design. So I'm going to continue to go on. Let's check out this fall set of toes. Aren't those cool? Looks just as awesome as the set of nails I did on Monday. Those smoke and train track nails. I love them so much. And I'm recording on the same day. So, yep, I'm still wearing my outfit from church. Got back from church a few hours ago. So, I do the nails and the toes on the same day. So, that's why you guys see the same outfit. I do change clothes. <laughs> um, but anyways, I love the way these toes turned out. And like I said, I'm going to continue to do them for a while since it is still warm enough to wear open toe. I mean, it really has to be cold, cold. I know people that in the winter that still wear flip flops here in Minnesota because us, you know, Minnesotans are true Minnesotans because we get really cold. So I'm going to still wear some open toe looks and I still have some open toe shoes to share with you guys. I have a lot of shoes still left and I share it in, you know, these videos. So um, when I do get to a point where I stop, if I still have more shoe collection left, I'll share it in the nail video then. But let's see if we can do it all in this one and keep the toe designs going for a while. For you, Jennifer, because I love you so much. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women before we go on. And we are looking for proof is the one now. It's Luke 5.14. Yeah, 5.14. Don't tell anyone, but go show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifice that Moses commanded for you or for your cleansing as a testimony to them. I'll read it one more time, you guys. Don't tell anyone, but go. Show yourself to the priest and offer the sacrifice that Moses commanded for you cleansing as a testimony to them. And it goes on to say, the hardest people to convince that Jesus was truly the Messiah, the Son of God, were the religious leaders. They thought they knew everything, so they questioned pretty much everything Jesus said and did. In this scripture verse, he had just healed a man who had leprosy. He tells the man to keep quiet about it until he had told the priest and offered the sacrifice that was required. He wanted the man to do everything by the book so that the priest would have to admit that a miracle had taken place and that Jesus was the reason. How willing are you to give Jesus credit for his work in your life? Do you question everything or simply say thank you? And I myself simply say thank you. I believe in the miracles. I believe Jesus is real. I believe he walked this earth. I believe there is a heaven. There is a hell. I believe in everything to do with Jesus, the Bible, all of it. So to me, I would say that I wouldn't question it. I would simply say thank you. I thank Jesus every day, even for simply just waking me up and keeping me safe from this virus. I thank him. So I really love how they, you know, what they talked about here and how, you know, how they worded this and everything. I really love it. So, you know, do you think that way? Do you um, question everything or do you simply thank Jesus for the things that he does for you? I do. There is a Jesus and I thank him, you know, for what he did for us. That's the least we can do is thank him for dying on the cross and taking on the sins of the world, you know, because we all fall short of the glory of God daily. We all sin, no matter, no matter if you think you don't, you do. We all fall short. Even if it's teeny tiny, it's still the same sin to Jesus, no matter how big or how small, it's a sin. A sin is a sin. So we all fall short every day. And so for him to die on the cross, it's the least we can do is thank him for what he does for us. You know, daily, thank him for everything he does. The bottom says, if the only, if the only prayer you ever say in your entire life is thank you, it will be enough. And it is. If that's all we do is just thank Jesus daily, it's enough. He doesn't expect much from us at all. I mean, just to believe and we have eternal life, just to believe Jesus died on the cross, we have eternal life, we have our salvation. Wow. So just a simple thank you and Jesus loves it. Start your day, go through your day and end your day with this, Life's Manual, the Holy Bible, the best book you'll ever read. It's my most favorite book now. I love it. Spend quality alone time with him. Go into a room alone and spend some you know, time with him, opening up scriptures and reading them and just really seeking him out, asking him to give you more knowledge and strength and 
faith and and um and uh, wisdom. Definitely, we need more wisdom. And you could read this Bible over a million times, and you still will love to read it. There's so much wonderful things in here, and you'll get something every time you read it. It's just absolutely beautiful. So definitely pick it up and read it, and spend that time with Him, and pray to Him daily. You know, just get up in the morning and say, thank you, God, for waking me up again today and for another day and for keeping me safe and all of my friends and family and loved ones being safe, too. Thank him. Thank him daily. You know, we won't have the best life when you're a Christian. It doesn't mean that everything is perfect now. Nothing will ever go wrong. We're still going to lose loved ones. We're going to have hard times. We're going to go through breakups and relationships. We're going to have, you know, struggles in, in, in financial situations and all that. But we can be happier going through it because Jesus will be walking with us through everything. If he brings you to it, he's going to bring you through it. Just like this virus, it, this too shall pass and it will. Keep praying, you guys. The more people that pray, the more faster this will be cleared up. And pray for our president and our governor too to make the right decisions. So, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed those verses. If you're new to my channel, right there is the red subscribe button. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified of all of my new uploads. Share around my channel so I can grow bigger and help many people with the ketogenic, with their faith, with nails, with toes, with fashion, with cleaning. I have a multi-channel, so I want to help all of you. And I do link my email down below if you need extra help with anything. Definitely shoot me up a message. So, and shoot me a thumbs up if that verse was absolutely amazing to you, that a simple prayer to Jesus, just saying thank you, was amazing. Or if you love me, shoot me a thumbs up. I love all of you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless, and I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now, let's get on to the set of toes, the smoked toes, and then my shoe collection. Stay tuned for that. The third pair will be what I'm wearing in this first Fashion Friday for the fall. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for my first set of fall toes. We got some smoked nails and some train tracks. If you'd like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Toe of the Week. That's right, getting ready to do another toe design for you guys. My very first fall toe design. I'm going to continue these for a little while since I will be wearing some open toes. And so I thought, hey... Let's keep it going for a little bit longer since I do my shoe collection as well and I like to throw it into this video. So not sure when I'm going to quit doing them. I'll let you know, but I will continue for a little while. Now we're doing this set to match the nails I did on Monday. Those gorgeous smoke and railroad nails. Love them. They are so awesome and so cool. I love the way they turned out and I'm excited to see what people chose. Again, I pre-record these videos, so the Monday's video has not even gone up yet, so I don't even know what people have guessed yet what I'm going to do for a theme for my Fashion Friday. Um, but yeah, we're going to match these toes with the nails. So I've got some of them done in navy blue and just done, or one of them done in the white. This one got a little bit messed up, but I'm not worried because I'll be putting the striping on it like I have on these nails and then the track. I'll be able to cover that up, but I bumped it. So let me go over the supplies. If you didn't get to see Monday's video, I'd like to show you what I'm using in this video then. All right, so... This is the one I used for um, the navy blue, and that one is called uh, That Moment. If you can see that, okay, it looks like it's kind of blurry. Let's kind of clear it up. There. there we go, That Moment. And I got this from Dollar Tree. Love these polishes, but they are running out of them, and I'm not sure if they're going to get any back. I have to ask them. And then the white by Kiss as well, and that just has the numbers on it. The white didn't have a color. I guess it would just be French white or white, but I love these polishes so much. That's what I've used as my base. And then um, for doing the smoke effect, I'll be working with acrylic paints and that will be white for the smoke effect. Right here, the um, apple barrel, 50 cents from Walmart and water, be mixing in a lot of water with that. And I'll show you how you do it if you haven't seen Monday's video. Looks like my video is a little bit blurry here. Here we go. Okay, and then um, that will be for the smoke effect and I'll be using two brushes. For that i'll be using robin's brush the wand robin moses i gotta clean these brushes <laughs> it's called the wand and this is her uh, liner and she has a striper which is her unicorn i'm going to use this to do the smoke effect and also this flat brush here you need a flat brush and you'll see as i go along how i'm doing that and you will also need a fan type brush just to fan off some of the glitter that we'll be adding over the smoke effect and 
that will be with this that I got. This is actually supposed to be rubbed over um, like a gel nail that you use, um, you know, a light for, and then you rub it in with those makeup sponges. I ordered this in the mail. Um, I don't have, um, I do have gel polishes, but not the gel top coat yet. I haven't started working with that yet, but I thought, what could I use this for? So I decided to use it on these nails. And so you see, it's got the effect through, oh my gosh, it keeps getting foggy. Let's see if I can clear this up a bit for you guys. There we go. If you see, it's got the effect of the sparkle in there. And I did it in just certain spots. And I did that with the yellow stopper. I put on just a tiny little bit of this yellow stopper I get from Sally's. And um, I let it dry just for a quick second or whatever. And it's tacky-like. And then it holds it down. And then I'll top coat it. But yeah, I just got this off of Wish, I believe. I bought this off of Wish. And it's a um, holographic glitter. It's beautiful. So that I'll be adding through after I do the striping, which I will use... Um, acrylic paint again I'll be using this one here by Apple Barrel the English Navy I believe it's called and I'm going to use the brush out of this bottle since it's so fine and a lot thinner I need a really thin one a Robin's brush the unicorn works perfect for striping and I did it when I did my um sailor look but that one um were bigger stripers I need a really thin brush and if you see this one's very very thin and I need thin stripes. As you see here, I've got very thin stripes. So I need it to be a lot thinner. So I'm going to use that brush. I'll just wipe it off, clean it off with acetone, and then I'll use the navy blue paint there. And then for the train track, I'll be using the navy blue along with this. The um, It's copper, I believe, a antique copper by Folk Art. And that one I got from Joann's, and this one I got from Target. The silver for the, um, the little, uh, what do you call them? The little nails or whatever you call it that you pound into the tracks itself. Um, I forget what you call that. I know there's a name for it. I can't think of it. It was on the tip of my tongue. I knew the name and then it, I lost it there. But it's the silver paint there. And I'll be using the smallest dotting tool to dot those in right there. The smallest one I have. Or you could use a toothpick to do it. That would work. And then at the very end, I will top everything off with a Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. So I'm going to start by getting on the smoke effect, and I believe I am going to do it on all the nails. Even though the nails are tinier, I still can do the effect on them. So I'm going to start with the smoke stack, and then I will return to show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, I'm back, and I've got the smoke going on the navy blue nails. Isn't that effect so cool looking? I love it. It's just really awesome how it really gives you the look of smoke, you know, just coming off from somewhere. So, all right, I've got my little palette here with the watered-down milky white. You want a lot of water in it. If you look at it, it's super watery, you guys. You need it super, super watery. Almost like it's basically mostly water. That's what you need. You want tons and tons of water in this design. Otherwise, it doesn't give you that smoke effect you're looking for. So, you need it really watery. All right, we're taking the brush here, and I'm going to draw in. Okay. And I'm going to come this way with it, since the other one went the other way. And just just kind of circle around like this and just be making a smoke. You know, or a smoke. Smoke coming up. Just have smoke coming up off the nail. Then you take your flat brush while it's still wet, and you dip it into the center there, taking out the water. You want to take out the water so it leaves the darker white to the outside, and it gets lighter in the middle, which gives it that smoke effect. Okay. So go like that. And then we're going to go back through it a little bit more. So I'm going to get a little bit more of this really watered down paint and just kind of go off to the side here with it. You just keep playing around till you're satisfied with the look that you get. Okay, so now I'm going to again dip and take off this white here and just wipe it off on your towel here, your paper towel. And just keep going till you get that really cool. Right, I got a call there. It knocked me off. But anyways, just kind of keep going till you get the look that you want. But just make sure you don't overdo it either. And then just keep wiping through, like I said, until you get that awesome smoke effect. And it just looks so cool. And smoke is all different. It doesn't have to be the same. You know, everything is different when you do it. And if you got too much in there, you can use a little bit of water to wipe it out too. Um, you know, just be using water off the brush here and be wiping it so it wipes away, you know. Because you need to kind of open it up a little bit like that so you get more of the smoke effect see that that looks more like it there all right awesome 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 all right so we've got that going now now we have to do the stripe going down the white nail 
So I'm going to get one done and then I will come back in and show you. Okay, now we've got the one stripe. Now we're going to do this one. I've got my paint all inside of here. It's kind of funny. It mixed with the white there and it looks like snowflakes. You see that? <laughs> looks like snowflakes coming. But I'm just working right in the middle. It's because the water kind of mixed in there too. So, but I, I love that effect. Look at that. Isn't that cool looking? I want to get that effect like on my nails. I really love the look of that. That is awesome. I don't know. It almost looks like uh, pine with the snowflake, you know, snow on it. Like a pine tree with the snow on it. That's awesome. All right. So we're just going to take our brush, this small little thin brush, just set it down and start doing our striping, making sure to do pretty thin lines. Okay, that one got a little bit thick. I'm going to wipe that off and start over again. That's what I like about acrylic paint. Okay. Start it again. Like that. And then just keep going. Just keep doing your stripes. I love using this thin brush. It just works so good. Just like that. And we just need one more. I don't have too much paint on there or the stripe will be too wide like that there we go now we've got our stripe nails and I want to make this one over here that just a little bit darker I don't think they got dark enough they look kind of light so I'm just going to go over them just a tad just so that they're a little darker because they were kind of light there we go. Now they both look good. Okay, now we're going to let this dry up. And the next step is to do um, the glitter through the smoke. So we're going to do some of that glitter through that. I'm going to get some done and I will return. Now we've got the glitter. You see it? I did it on this side. And I've got all the toes done all the way through except for this one. I left this one open. But you see how the glisten just kind of goes through it just a little bit. And I'll show you how I'm doing that. All right, so we start with taking the yellow stopper, wiping all of the paint off. You want the brush completely like a dry brush, okay? So get most of it off, like completely. I just like it because it's got a tacky, uh, you know, feel to it, so it will pick up the stuff really good. So make sure you get all of it off. Then just pick certain areas that you're going to be setting this down where you want the glitter to be. So you're only going to have it in certain spots, like that, and then maybe a little bit right here. And that's it right there. That's done. And then while it still is a little bit wet, it doesn't have to dry long. While it still is wet, we're going to go ahead and grab our uh, fine powder here, our fine micro uh, glitter powder. Put a little bit on this sponge here. And we're just going to set it where we put the glitter, okay? In the couple little spots that we did the glitter. Just like that. Just set it down, pushing into that uh, little bit of yellow stopper that we put down. If you need a little bit more, grab a little bit more and put it down. Oh, I don't think I got any. And put it down like that. And then it gives it that glisten. But because it's such a fine uh, glitter, it goes over the nail. You know, kind of goes onto the nail there, you see. So we're going to use this fan brush and just go right over it and fan it off. That's what I love about this brush. This brush is awesome. You can go over the whole nail and fan it and get rid of any of the loose glitter that went around like that. See? Now it's got that beautiful look. Let me draw in just a little bit closer for you. But then you see that glisten. Isn't that pretty? I really like the idea of putting the glitter through the smoke like that. Okay, now all we have left to do is work on the railroad track. So let me get one done and I'll come back in and show you. Okay, so we've got the train track going on that little one there. Hard to do on a small little nail, but I got it. And I'll show you how we're doing that. And it's the rivets. That's what I was looking for, the word. The little metal rivets. All right, so let's draw in here and start with doing the track. The track, we're just using navy blue, okay? So we're just going to dip into the navy blue I have here on the palette. And we're just going to go across the nail here. Hopefully I can show you this without getting in the way here. So we're just going to start one line going like this at an angle. Just angle it. And then the top one, hopefully you can see this. The top one, we're going to come like this and just kind of angle it down too, just so that it looks like the train track, okay? A little bit harder to do with this small nail and keep it on film. 
But anyways, I just needed it to have it on both sides just to have something lined up. We're going to be doing them silver like that. Okay. Then wipe your brush and we'll dip into the brown. And we're going to do our brown wood that goes across like that and make them kind of thick, you know, thicker lines like that. And actually we'll add one more down here like that. And then we're going to do the silver glitter as the sides of the, the track with our actually glitter, actual glitter that came in this kiss bottle of, um, you know, the liner one I was using to do all the work with. So we're just going to dip into that and get some of the silver paint. And then just on each side, follow along and make your silver track. Okay. And then the other side, same thing. Hopefully you can see me doing this. I'm sorry if I'm in your way with this. So we just go like that. And then I'm just going to get just a tiny bit more just to fill it. Make sure that both sides are filled nice with this so you see that and not the track like that okay the paints are all wet you should wait for everything to dry but i'm going to go ahead and use my dotting tool and just get the rivets in so just do two tiny little dots on each side and you can do it while it's wet if you know how to work with everything it's better to let things dry but i figured as long as i'm on i'll just get these done just got to be more careful when it's wet because the stuff tends to run then. So just be more careful. But there you go. We got the little track now on the baby nail and it represents that little track. I think it's cute. You know, not as um, great as the nail. I mean, it's still great. You can see it's a track, but you can get much more on a nail versus a toenail, you know, because toenails are so little. But I think they both turned out really cute. Here's the other one. I think the track is adorable. I think it's really cute. I think it turned out perfectly. So now all we got to do is top coat everything and then I'll come back and show you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done and I am digging this set of fall toes. Aren't they cool with that smoke effect and loving the train tracks matches those awesome nails I did on Monday. I just think that they turned out very cool. I love the smoke effect. I think it's awesome. And like I said in my intro and in my nail video, I will continue the toes for a while since I still am wearing open toe shoes. And on top of it, I still have so many pairs of shoes to go through for you guys. And I do it in this video, you know, the toe video, since it's your toes. I like to share the shoe collection in there. When I do stop the toes, then I will just have to throw the rest of the pairs of the shoes if I have any left to show you in the nail videos. But for a while, I will continue the toe designs. I know that'll make Jennifer happy because she loves when I do the toes. So yeah, I'm going to continue to do that for a while. So, But anyways, I hope all of you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. Remember, after this video, I will be sharing three more pairs of my shoe collection. The third pair will be what I'm wearing in this Friday's fall fashion, the first look of the year. And I'm coming in with a bang. Super excited. Everybody, take care and God bless.